Hello, welcome to another edition of the Girls Gist. It's your girl here again called Oin. Again. Hello, go again. Just go. Hello. Again from COP Action. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Girls Just Show. It's your girl here again, Oin. I'm here with Ami Taylor. Hello, everyone. Why are you always there? <laughs> I need to show them everything. <laughs> so, so what are you going to talk about today? Oh, you know this this lively atmosphere, this aura that we are presenting to the mm. people today. It's all due to this topic. I this might be the best topic of the whole girl just okay, episode start, that we have start. been doing. I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't, know. I can't no, I need to keep you in suspense. You need to know what is going on. Seriously. Uh, ah, Seriously. You, just this now. topic is something that we should have known a I while mean, back. No, I'm not telling you, because this is a very serious topic. <laughs> this is the topic that our mother should have told us that they did not discuss with us. Do you know that topic? Do you know the topic? You won't talk about it. Ah, thank hey, God. You hey, see hey, how hey, smart Oyi hey. is? She caught up with it. <laughs> this in Africa, you want to talk about it? The thing is, sex in Africa, we should talk about it. You see my reaction. And, and, you see my reaction. And and everyone, everyone, you want to talk about it? Yes. And everyone does that the same reaction. And this is a very important issue that we should be talking about. Hmm. When I talk about, let's, uh, when I tell people, let's talk about sex, and they are like, oh my God. Sex in Africa, do people not have sex in Africa? Oh, that we should not be discussing about oh, it. Yeah. And oh, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> and no. sexual education is very important to the girl child when we are young. Young, yeah. You go to a stage where you hit puberty and you are so hormonal. You experience different uh, feelings in your body and you don't know how to talk to somebody about it because your mother never opened up to talk oh, to you about it. I had goosebumps. Exactly. That's exactly, you explain all those type of things. You see, oh, I saw one, one boy, he's fine. I was and that is the culture we should break. Because that culture of not being able to tell your mother anything, it should be broken. And I don't blame the mothers that much because their own mothers did it to them. But I believe this is a time, this is 2020. We need to break the chain. You need to tell us what is going on. We need to know what is going on in that sector, what goes on in that action. Because people, and this has given birth to, given birth to so many difficulties. Because, because yeah. you, your mother never told you, so you're going to end up being pregnant if you're, because, yeah, because like it or not, it. yeah, like it or not, everyone is hypersexual in this, in this uh, era. Everyone, your hormones are going haywire. <laughs> your body is just telling you, do this, do this, do this. And you want to do it, but you want to have advice. And when you can't get that advice, you mm. just give you in to your, wayward. yeah, your eat, and you just go wayward, and you. Um, wait, there's this, there's yeah. this um, thing that happened in Gambia here. I, I was with an organization called ISBAD. We mm -hmm. went with some doctors to a village. I can't remember the name. So we were now like, what type of pads do they use more in that society? Like we went for a survey. Yeah. So when, when we asked that, you know, there are different types of pads. Pads, yeah. Bella, Peridom, and all of that. So we're now like, what type should we get them? So we wanted to know what type they use more. We, when we got there, we found out that one, I think 2% mm -hmm. out of 100 are the only ones that use pads. Mm. And I was like, what? That, that's Is this crazy. Morning? And that was exactly. like, last, was that last year or last two years? So you can imagine, it's in this 20, 21st yeah. century, then the girl, the girl, so like we were asking a lot of girls, they were like, uh, most of their grandmas and their moms say that using pads are bad, that it's better for them to use rags and clothes. And, and do you know that when, when we start educating them, they tend to like yeah. open up and most of them, thank God we went with doctors because most mm -hmm. of them actually had problems exactly. with their periods. Most of them were facing, um, most of them were facing high, high, um, high bleeding, they were yeah. with high bleeding, like they, were, they had a lot of medical yeah, issues, medical issues. Yeah. and then they could not tell their parents about it, because they, find, they found it very odd to talk to their parents about that, or to talk to their mom about that, because yeah. they'll be like, you're never feeling why you need to ask me, you understand? Yeah, exactly. So they can't even, they could not even tell their parents, and there, there were some that were actually very severe, that it was actually draining the blood 
the, the girl's blood as of like her blood was so low but yet she could not tell anyone because she said that it was it's not normal to talk about it so i think parents especially african parents should should start educating their children about this Children tend, but how do you educate you? If, even me, if, 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 exactly. if my mom comes to me mm-hmm. and says that let's have this sex, sex talk or something, it will yeah. look very odd. So I think they should first try to have a friendship relationship with their children first. Don't be too harsh on your children. That's one thing that no. I want to emphasize on. on. Being <laughs> overprotective is just going that to harm your child. In, in every in every African mother Ex- or father blood. Yeah. Like that exactly. Is, so I think we should change that and try when you build that relationship with them, mm-hmm. then you can start to educate them that even if some some people are like girls are not supposed to date this I'm like what girls nowadays, whatever their friends do, that's what they do. So I can't, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's it's advisable to tell the girl, don't date, don't date. Exactly. Do you can date, yes, but go for this type of guy or go for that type of guy. Guy, you exactly. Know, like, be their guideline. And if you were able to talk to your parents about that, they would be able to guide you. Exactly. You know, oh, meant, oh, like you the mentioned. Girl, the girl would be actually be able to open up to her mom and be like, exactly. okay, with this guy. But he tends he tend to like that. Oh, he asks he, about this. this he, yeah, he's yeah. always telling me to kiss him. Mm-hmm. Or this He's and requesting that. for sex. Uh-huh. And it's, it's a good way so See, that you can be able this, to advise. It, so most of these talks that don't happen at home, mm-hmm. that don't happen, has actually resulted in a lot of things. things yeah. Girls don't know about STDs. They don't know that there's something called protection. There's no, they don't know about emergency pills. Do you know, they're not really educated about yeah. it. Most of them, thank God for education now. Some of them are actually educated at school. But they... But they, still, they, only There's this one-on-one talk. You that, understand? That's what that I want to come to. Talk, yeah. You know, like, it makes more impact. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. I, I, I'll be honest, I've never had that type of talk with my parents. I, I have. I have. I definitely have. I've never have. had that type and of been, talk. And I've been thankful later, for it. It was later. It was later. Lisa, I think when I was 16 or 17, that, that's when my mom was like, Who are you dating? I was like, Hold on. This is when my mom said, Actually, you who see? Am I <laughs> like, it was so. But there's this father figure I have outside. There's this mm. father figure. He, like, since when I was 15 or 14, I, like, we basically, because he gave me that platform to be able to express myself. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So I think parents should be, should be able to give their children to express themselves. Don't condemn them, no matter how wrong they are yeah because mm-hmm. if they start condemning them okay this girl the girl it's it's already in that in that girl's mind, mind like, yeah even if i tell my mom this she, she's just going to do that yet she starts shouting start mm-hmm. doing this start doing that so i think the parents are supposed to listen to their children Ch- most definitely yeah. get that relationship then talk about sex more let them know about it Trust me, whether you like it or not, your child is going to have sex. Exactly. Whether and you when like you talk to them, not. it's going to bring all these problems down. Yeah, there will be no teenage know, pregnancy. It will know. be reduced. Yes, yeah, the that FTD. They know, be able, exactly. exactly. It will be reduced. Know, they'll be able to know it more. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. And I agree with you when you say education has played a very big role because we go to school and we learn sexual, sexual education. education. But even in you, the school, yeah. the, the teachers themselves, they tell you, Oh, you know that uh, your mother is your first teacher. So your mother should be able to tell you, okay, this and this is what goes about in sex. Don't wait Even for your... Even in school, so they don't really take it that serious. Deep, exactly. Do you remember Mr. Fab? And Mr. Fab would be like, if anybody comes and say, open it, <laughs> tell them my mother locked it and she the key away. Exactly. And they put it in this metaphorical sense that doesn't it even really make, sense. make sense to people. It will be like you it's just a joke and all of that. There are some parents happening. Yeah, there are some parents in society, they go like, uh, if you look at a boy, you'll be pregnant. <laughs> if you touch him, you'll be... What is that? Tell your girl child what is going See, on there. There is this, this girl near my neighbor, near our, our neighborhood. Yeah. She, she, she's the only child. She's actually the only child, yeah. but the girl, if you see herself, she's already self-isolated yes, yes. at a very young age. She's, she's actually older than me, but when you look at when you see her, you'll think that she's older than me for five years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, even when she wants to enter a car, a, a public van or anything, mm-hmm. and then the apprentice will be like, come and sit down here. Like, Don't touch me. This is, she starts shouting. 
Even teachers in the university can't even talk to her. They'll feel like if you talk to me, my father, she can't even even a class. You see, like it's 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 just so bad. Like from that young age, she's already yeah detached actually, from yeah, isolated. Yeah, detached from um humanity, and yeah. that is actually very wrong. So I think there should be a right a right medium or a right way to talk to your kids about yeah. this. And you see, um, when you said she's in the university, when lecturers are trying to talk to her. She wouldn't even say, manage. Exa- be like, Imagine you are at the highest level of education and you have not even had that. Because if you had the sex day, talk, see, you would be able this to. Even, this is not even about sex talk. But that day, I think she lost a pencil or something. This girl cried. This is in very sad people. This is in sad. In the university level, this girl cried like she cried for. And then the guy that lost the guy, the guy that lost her pencil, she was like, "Okay, let me buy you another one." The guy was like, "No, I need that same one." And the guy was like, "Why? It's just a pencil." I was like, "My mom is going to beat me." I'm like, in a university level, and the girl was crying bitterly. So you can imagine how how and then she like sometimes she has this aggressive. Behavior, aggressive behavior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? All the frustration that she has with her parents that she can't show them, she tends to like show it on people, give it show it on people. Do you understand? So everything has a negative impact. Like everything has a positive and a negative, negative impact. impact. The yeah. parents are thinking that they are trying to protect their children, but not knowing that they are doing more more bad than good. Yeah. So, well, there you have it, guys. This discussion has been very interesting. I don't even want to stop this. Stop, I know, right? So, please, parents, don't be overprotective. Anything that is mm-hmm. over the top, it's bad, bad. for you. It's bad. So, we will uh, continue this conversation in our social media platforms, and um, we will delve more into this and hear your opinions on this topic. So, till we come your way again, uh, this has been fun, and this is Girls Gist. Bye. Peace, love. Bye-bye.